Depot and I bought this giant bag of cement. I've opened it already, see it? We're gonna make jewelry with it, but this was the smallest bag that they had. And I got this idea from the Sea Lemon channel. She made some really cool cement planters. You should definitely check it out. The link is down below, down there. So it's pretty easy, except for my first try did not work out. It's not hard as long as you do it right. I don't know why I have to pick everything up. And I'm sweating. Pour cement into a bowl. It's kind of toxic, so you don't really want to breathe it. See all that stuff coming up? Thoroughly mix together a 50-50 ratio of concrete and water until the consistency is thick like frosting. You may need to adjust your mixture as you go. water. You just keep mixing it and you make sure that all the little particles and the little dry balls that could be hiding inside the mixture, that could ruin it. That will look like a cavity, like frosting or melted butter or pancake batter, peanut butter. All of the things that I'm not eating right now because I'm still, <coughs> I'm still doing the raw vegan diet except for one day at VidCon last weekend I ate a turkey sandwich because all the vegetarian sandwiches were gone and I had to eat something and I also had a cup of coffee but I only drank half of it. I'm just really not even going to count that day. And then there was also another cup of coffee yesterday but that was because I needed to stay up and work until about midnight but I'm definitely not going to have any tonight. Also on the train ride back home I did get these little caramel covered things from Starbucks. But other than that, I've totally stuck to it. Um, what did I eat today? Oh, I had a um, quesadilla today. Other than the two cups of coffee and the caramel little things from Starbucks and the turkey sandwich and the quesadilla yesterday and today, I've totally stuck to it. Before you add your cement, it's a good idea to line the mold with Vaseline or cooking oil and then work the concrete into all the detailed areas of your mold. You can go to the craft store and there's a whole baking section. These are from Wilton and they're silicone candy molds and these are ideal for pouring the cement. And when I went in there, there was just like sprinkles and chocolate melts and frosting everywhere. You can smell sugar. It was just coming at me, just all these pictures of cupcakes and cakes and candy bars. I was just like, la 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 la. This is not the baking aisle. This is the cement making jewelry section. I got these little foam letters. Can you see them right there? Am I in focus? You pour it over the letter like this and it looks really good. You push it down and then it pulls back up. So the better way to do it is just to, to take it and whack it. I found my foam letters in the scrapbooking section of the craft store. Try double-sided tape to hold the letters down. It doesn't stick very well to the silicone, but it does help a little bit. Let the concrete dry thoroughly for 24 hours and remove carefully from your molds. I'm using a dental tool for this, but you can also use a toothpick. Here I am prying out the letters with a tiny sharp object. They would have come out much easier if I had coated each letter with Vaseline. After all your letters are out, sand down the rough edges with a sanding block or sandpaper. Next, I'm adding some gold detail with a tiny brush and my metallic patina. Click the link below to find DIY products in your area. I'm using E6000 to attach the loose letters to the blocks and I'm sealing everything in with clear liquid patina.
feel like. The last step is to glue on a flat bale to the back and add a chain. Can you see them? I think they turned out really good. I'm going to be posting a new video every Thursday because that's what they said to do at VidCon. I don't even know where to put this, but I've got to do something with it. I don't want to waste it. Check out my Pinterest board and look at all the other projects that I have and let me know which one you want me to make in an upcoming video because I have a lot of it left. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Thursday. Click the link below to find out where to get DIY paint in your area. And let me know in the comments what you think I should do with the rest of the cement. Thanks for watching.